Hey yo, duckies, Andy Lippy here, and do you want a chat widget just like this? Using your Discord, it gets sent to OBS so your stream can see who is talking. This is great for games such as Among Us, or if you're doing huge parties playing Jackbox, then your audience will know exactly who is talking. It's super easy to set up, and it just uses a browser source inside of OBS, and it's completely customizable, which is even better. And if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I'll show you how you can see it inside your your game so you can see who's talking as well. Let's get on with it. Put your rock over the stone. This portion of the video is sponsored by Own.TV. Own.TV is literally a one-stop shop for everything streaming related. They've got overlays, alert packages, emotes, sub badges, bit badges, absolutely everything to take your stream to the next level and make it look super professional. And what's better is you can actually save yourself a cheeky 50%, that's right, 50, half price off absolutely anything using off code Andy50. All the links are in the description down below and go to supporting the channel. So thank you very much guys and thank you own.tv for sponsoring this video. So this is super easy to get working. We just need to jump to our web browser and we're just gonna go to this link just here. I will post it in the description down below so it's super easy for you to do. Once we open that up, you'll see this Discord stream kit and we're just gonna press install for OBS just there. That is then gonna automatically open Discord. If it hasn't already, just make sure you've got Discord open and then it'll ask you to authorize this to make sure it connects to your server and everything like that. So I'm gonna press authorize and that's it. It's all working, it won't say anything. You can tell it's working. If you go back to the website, you'll see loads of different settings for, for whether it's a status widget, chat widget, or voice widget. We're gonna be using the voice widget today, so we can select which server we, we want to connect to. So I'm gonna be selecting the Andy Lippy server. So the Lippy committee, we're gonna select that, and we're gonna choose the voice channel we want. So we've got two voice channels. So these are the ones that are inside Discord. You can see I've got two voice channels just here, game chat, and the lippy chat. So I'm gonna do the game chat. I'm gonna select game chat just here. And you'll see this is what it'll look like when it's talking. We've got these two, then we've got the name tag and we've also got the logo just there. We can press show speaking user only. So then that means it will only pop up when the user is speaking. So if I stop speaking, it won't show up. We can also do small avatars so we can completely customize this so we can get more information on screen. We can hide the names if we wanted to and just have logos. We can change all of the text color if we want. We can change the size of the text as well. We can also change the outline uh, color as well. So all these will completely change. So you can customize it to match your overlay. You can even change the background color. So I can change this to blue if I wanted to. And then now you'll see this is changed to blue just here. So you can completely customize it to exactly how you want it. To get this added into OBS, once you've kind of got everything all set up how you want it to look, you just need to copy and paste this. So we're just gonna copy this link here, jump into OBS, and we're gonna create a new source. The source we're gonna create is a browser source, and we'll call it Discord Chat, for example, and press OK. And we're gonna paste that URL directly into there. Then we need to jump back to the web page because we need to make sure we do the width at 312 pixels and the height by 600 pixels. So we do 312 and the height is 600 just there. We can get rid of the custom CSS, so there's nothing in there. And then we're ready to go, we press OK. And now you'll see this little box is here and you can see when we're talking. And a quick shout from me, don't forget if this content is helping you, press that subscribe and that like button because it doesn't cost a thing and it'll help push this content to more people, all right? So after some checking, this wasn't actually disappearing automatically. So if I stop talking now, it disappears. So there is actually a little bit of a bug. So to fix that and put the actual hide and show on, we need to go into the browser source again and you'll see a section that says and limit underscore speaking equals true. But you'll see that that will be a lowercase t. So if I change it to a lowercase t, uh, it won't actually automatically hide when I stop talking. But if I go back into that and actually change it to a uppercase t, it fixes it. For some unknown reason, that will actually make it work. So if you're having difficulty with it not disappearing when people are not talking, just change that to an uppercase T. 
Another handy hint is if you want to resize it, you can just drag the little red boxes at the corner, just like that. So you make it as big or as small as you want, move it to wherever you want as well. And you can also lock it just to make sure that it doesn't move anymore on your overlay. There are a lot of good uses for this, especially if you're using the games such as like Among Us or something like that, where it's like a team building game and there's a lot of people talking. It means that your viewers will be able to understand exactly what's going on in the game and who is talking. This won't actually show up on your screen though. So if you're in the game and you want to see who is talking because you're talking to, I don't know, some random viewers you've never spoken to, you can actually sort that out as well. To do that, you'll just jump into Discord, press the little settings cog, go down to game overlay and you'll have all different settings here so you can change again the size and everything like that, change what position you want it in as well and you can set that up so it makes it easier for you to see who is talking in the game. And that's pretty much it. There's a lot of good tools on that website that you can use for Discord and displaying information on your stream from like text messages, from a full chat widget for instance, and different things like that. I want to say a huge thanks to all these people here that help me make this content full time. If you want to consider helping me, then join on Patreon or the channel members here on YouTube from £1 a month. And make sure you check out one of these videos just here. This will definitely help you take your stream to the next level. Put your rock into the stone.